Welcome back everybody. Uh, so I wanted to do a new vinyl update today and I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these but uh, the fact of the matter is that over the last few months I've just been really busy. Um, first of all I did move to a different address uh, so that's been taking up quite a lot of time and also I started four-year university so you know that's quite a time consumer right there uh, but unpacking has been dying down a little bit here so I thought I'd do a vinyl update and um, hopefully uh, you know, I'll be able to get back into doing more videos now that unpacking will be completed. Uh, I'm going to start out with this record here, and it's a record I've actually shown to you guys before, um, but I had the 2013 back on black repress of it. And in the video I mentioned that I really wanted an original press of this, and I finally got one. This one is Megadeth, Killing is My Business and Business is Good. Uh, Combat Records 1985. This is the original press as I mentioned and uh, it's of course the debut LP by Megadeth which I think was the height of Dave Mustaine's anger towards Metallica. Um, it's really fast paced, great riffs, great drumming. Uh, the bass is really good, the vocals are great and the lead guitar solos are uh, exceptionally well done. This one, the original press, actually contains the cover song, These Boots, uh, which, you know, the represses of it do not contain because the original maker, um, you know, made it got into trouble with uh, that person. So they can't actually legally put it on the represses anymore. Uh, another thing is that this one actually has the original production on it. Uh, the original mastering and all that stuff so it's not remastered of course uh, a lot of people prefer the remaster because you know to them it sounds better but for me I actually do really quite like this production that's on it because uh, you know I'm a, I'm a fan of raw production so I actually don't mind it too much uh, solid green combat labels which shows that it's the original press and um, unfortunately it does not come with the merchandise insert which the original press should contain I, I guess you know the person that had this LP wanted some merchandise so if anybody has the merchandise order form and would like to uh, you know make a copy for me so I can stick it in here I would really most appreciate that uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to you know hunt that down on my own uh, but yeah it's really really quite nice to have the original press of this finally in my possession and uh, it's a really good spin. Uh, the condition of it is uh, quite nice. It's not, you know, flawless, but uh, for an LP that's this old, it's looking really quite nice. Uh, I would say for the original press, if it has the merchandise insert sheet, you're probably looking at around $60. And uh, for a copy like that's looking like this, I think around $30. Uh, but I actually managed to get this for $20, so I was actually quite lucky. Quite a bargain, I think. Uh, yeah, Megadeth. Killing is my business, and business is good. Okay, moving on to a different band here. Another classic debut in thrash metal. Uh, this is one that I was searching for for quite a while. Um, they did a version of it with, I think it was a um, 10-inch record, uh, but actually held off on it, and uh, I think it paid off because this is the, the original press of this. Uh, Anthrax, Fistful of Metal, uh, really quite a nostalgic record for me. This is one of the first thrash metal LPs I ever bought uh, when I was getting into metal. I bought it on CD and I really wanted an original press of this and I'm really happy to say that I do have one. Um, I don't believe it came with uh, an insert or anything like that or a custom inner sleeve. I could be wrong. Um, if somebody can confirm that for me I'd be most grateful. But here we have Megaforce Records, great label. So yeah, Megaforce Records, uh, and the LP is looking really quite nice as well. It's uh, not that scratched up or anything like that. No major scratches. Quite a nice spin and sounds really brilliant. Um, I think for the Anthrax discography, this one is sounding a little bit primitive compared to the other ones in the discography, but. Um, really, um, it sounds like, you know, really fast-paced Judas Priest, really, and it's really fine thrash metal. Uh, one of my favorite thrash metal LPs and really nostalgic for me, as I mentioned, so. Um, I think to get this version, you're probably looking at around $20 to $30. 
And um, yeah, not much more to say about it. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard it. Uh, Anthrax, Fistful of Metal. You need to get that into your collection. Okay, moving on to a little bit of death metal here. This is an LP that I really wanted for a very long time, but kind of ha had to hold off on it because the original press goes for a lot of money. And so I was thinking um, the label would repress it because they've been doing a lot of represses of a lot of classic death metal LPs. So uh, my waiting finally paid off, and this is Massacre. This is from Beyond, a uh, recent repress that was out on Eric Records. I really wanted the original press with the 7-inch record and the hype sticker, but um, yeah, you know, those are really going for a lot of money now. I think there's one on Discogs that's like near $200 or something like that. Um, yeah, quite unfortunate, but I'm, I'm happy to have this one, really. I mean, it looks a hell of a lot like the original press. Um, so, you know, I can't really complain about that. Uh, it's got three members, or actually, I'm sorry, all four members are from Death, but uh, in particular, three members are from the leprosy slash spiritual healing era of Death. Uh, so if you really love those albums, I strongly, strongly suggest that you get this LP. Um, the other member, Cam Lee, is from Death Mantis as well, and he performed on the Death by Metal demo tape, which to me, um, he pretty much originated and pioneered the death metal vocals. So, um, yeah. And it's got really great cover art as well, you know. Um, this artwork is done by Edward J. Repka, who did a lot of death metal LP artwork and uh, some thrash metal artwork as well. Now they did do these on colored vinyl as well as black vinyl. Uh, the ones that were colored vinyl for the most part, they didn't really appeal to me. But this one I thought was looking pretty good. This is a split uh, green and red. And this is my first split colored record actually. Um, you know, I've, I've seen them before but I just never really bought one. But I figured, you know, now is a good time to get one so yeah it looks pretty good and i'm really happy with this repress actually it's one of those represses i really don't mind having i know i'm a stickler a lot of the times for having original presses but you know this one looks more or less just like the original press so i, I don't really care all that much i really would like to have one with the hype sticker and the seven inch but i really feel like you know for 200 dollars, it's not really happening for me so Anyways, Massacre, uh, from Beyond LP, I think the represses of this currently are around $40, but uh, do be quick on, on those because, you know, these earache represses tend to go for a lot of money, um, but yeah. Moving on to the last LP that I wanted to show you, um, this one is one of my favorite uh, LPs of all time, you know, including any genre at all. Um, I'll never forget the first time I heard it. As soon as I heard it, I was like, I really need to buy this and get this into my collection. Um, this is Violence, Eternal Nightmare. This is their debut LP. And this artwork here is also done by Edward J. Repka, um, who did the previous artwork in the last record I showed. Um, this album, seriously, if you listen to Thrash Metal and you enjoy Thrash Metal and you've not heard this, like I strongly, strongly recommend that you check this out because this is without a doubt uh, one of the finest thrash metal albums of all time uh, the back has lyrics and a picture of the band as you can see and this is actually an original press they've recently or i don't know if the reissue is out already or what's going on with that but i know recently there was supposed to be a repress or there's going to be a repress pretty soon um See, I don't know what's going on with that, but this one is, of course, an original press. And it's on Mechanic Records. So here's the label, Mechanic. This LP as well, I, know, I noticed a lot of these for sale, uh, as far as the original press is concerned, a lot of these are water damaged or really scratched up um, vinyl with it. But um, this one is really really in good condition pretty much the only thing that really bugs me about it is that somebody did a corner cut on it as if it was a promo LP and I know there's actually a lot of promos out there floating around but um, this one's not a promo LP so I'm not really sure why they cut it or really don't know what's up with that 
but let me tell you guys that you know as far as the music on this is concerned really amazing riffs really fast paced drumming brilliant brilliant guitar solos and the vocals i think sound a lot like anthrax which i think is kind of a little bit strange because um this is really kind of uh what i like to call extreme thrash metal you know kind of like morbid saint sort of sounding stuff but um so it kind of goes a little bit weird with the anthrax style vocals but nevertheless brilliant brilliant i cannot say enough good things about this album if you um are interested in thrash metal like here is really not a bad place to start violence uh eternal nightmare um get this album into your collection as soon as possible oh and by the way uh this one is not cheap unfortunately um these tend to go for around 60 dollars in this kind of condition um but you know if you're not really willing to pay that much uh, as i said there is going to be a repress uh very soon either that or it's already out so anyways uh that is all i have to show this time around and i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys are doing well out there and uh, do be expecting more videos since unpacking here has kind of died down quite a bit so okay i'll catch you guys later and goodbye